talk to her again? We could try. But I think this game was up to the god tier hype it received. It received um, re-release. Um, I think this game lives up to the god tier hype in some ways, and I think it doesn't in others. Um, I think in terms of like a large, amazing, immersive world, that absolutely this is incredible. It's really, really good. Um, I can't talk to her. It's too bad. Um, I think in terms of a perfect experience, which as we said was like the overhyped version of it, uh, no, it is it is not a giant perfect experience. Um, it, it has some pretty significant issues on consoles. There's there's some performance issues on mid systems. There's bugs. There's there's more than a few like uh, presentation bugs. There's been uh, what is SFW safe for work? Yeah, we we try to normally we. You know, I stay safe for work and we try to keep the chat safe for work. The, the games I play aren't always safe for work, but we kind of keep a, you know, modicum of continuity <laughs> by just keeping me and the chat safe for work most of the time. Um, but yeah, I, I think um, there's some there's some issues with like the skill systems and the crafting system and things like that. And, you know, some of the deeper RPG elements and things, but nothing that can't be fixed with patches and such. But um yeah, there's little things that could be added. There's some bugs. Uh, it is not a perfect experience, but there are also aspects of it that are a huge step forward for the genre. Um, like in terms of, of the presentation of the world and how alive it feels and um, even some of the side quests we've done so far have been incredible. Um, the, a lot of the voice acting has just been top notch. We met this Gary guy that was, oh man, I tell you like 11 and 10 voice acting from that guy um and you know like also there, there's a lot of really good stuff yeah but yeah i'd say for me um for me it is it is definitely lived up to my expectations and in many ways surpassed them i was expecting there to be some bugs in the game oh there's a there's a few more than i thought were gonna be there but it's it's totally you know i'm i'm still completely happy with it and um but the the world is incredible the story has been great so far and, uh, you know, I'm actually really digging the combat. I love being a hacker. So for me, it's it's definitely lived up to what I was expecting. Uh, I, I wasn't alone. I understand the situation and I take full responsibility. Uh, 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 mm. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Good luck, girl. Good luck. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, somebody wanted to see this earlier. Here you go. watch those grenades man can't tell of being honest or just saying this for his sponsors says boo okay couple quick things uh first of all uh cdpr is not sponsoring me at all to play this game at all uh cdpr hasn't given me a penny um except for the payment of me doing my voice acting that's it i have done a sponsored stream during this but it was nvidia which has nothing to do with the game itself. Also, as I have uh, shown many times in the past, uh, if I have a problem with a game, and even if I'm doing a sponsored stream for it, even if I'm being paid to play a game, if I have issues with it, I'll talk about them. Um, latest example being Watch Dogs. And um, let's see, on top of that, I have been streaming for seven plus years, and I probably have streamed more in the last few days and I have in a very in years in years uh, I am really really enjoying this game I'm loving it I've gotten up at basically 4 a.m. I picked, got up 2 30 a.m. the first day because I was so excited I couldn't get back to sleep and I uh, got up at 4 a.m. today uh, 4 a.m. yesterday probably gonna get up at 4 a.m. tomorrow um yeah no I'm having a great this, this game is my jam this is this is this is the kind of game I enjoy playing the most so I'm, I have, I have 
zero benefit to to give answers and and fake there's i have no purpose or reason it is in my benefit as a streamer to always be genuine open and honest with you and if i was not having a good time you would probably be able to tell before i would be as you have in the past so yeah that's how that works back it up man I am actually really, really enjoying our playthrough of this. Hey, Elming. Good to see you, buddy. That is a sound. $100 tip. I donate 100 euro dollars every time I see you in Cyberpunk. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, also, Daily Fatigue Bar, Mombic, and TTR, all with the five gift bombs. Welcome. Welcome, guys. All the people that are joining our community here. I really appreciate it. Looking forward to getting to know you dudes. That bit of generosity has inspired me. I think. Nope. Ba-boom. In Arcus Day. What the hell is that? Anyway. Oh, is this Jesse? I think we can do this. Yeah, it is! I think we can do this now. Hey! Hey, you! I gotta get to a Ripper, man! I... I'll pay you! Depends. What's wrong with you? You serious? You want my patient history, too? I just want to be sure it's no cyber psychosis or anything. No, it's a... <laughs> Normal implant malfunction. Happy? You helping me or what? I am helping you. All right. Great. Why are we standing here? <laughs> to the car. Now. Oh, I got a nice cab now. That's right. Come on, Jesse. Get in, bro. Jesse butt. Oh. Satisfaction guaranteed, they said. Let me guess. Mr. Stud XCV19 series. Yeah. How'd you know? I know my implants, including the black market stuff. Vault of series got recalled. Still selling it on the street, though. Hey, <laughs> listen. Thanks for not laughing at me. Appreciate it. It ain't easy, I'll tell you that. Fuck you. Oh God, school kids! Just don't running. run over the school kids. Ah, go, just go, mow them down. <laughs> Chill, Jim. Gone in a sec. Chill? You tell me to chill? It burns. Oh! Fuck it, burn! Chill. Doing what I can. What I said to my output. She didn't like that too much. Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ! You really gotta keep yelling like that. You don't even know how much it hurts? Like I'm screwing a goddamn pencil sharpener! Well... Suffer in silence, Chew. Heard what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. My dad used to say that. <laughs> Real fucking funny. That is hilarious. Oh, it hurts. It hurts like a motherfucker. Okay, we're hey, you after? I'll call you. But
Is he gonna make it? Okay. Okay, good. I I think he made it. I think Jesse is okay. I can't. I can't. Okay. Wait for a call from the distressed man. Good luck, Mr. Cox. We're we're all thinking about you, buddy. All thinking about you. Okay, where are we right now? Ooh, right next to a side job. Let's go. What time is it? Okay, you got just over an hour, and then we're going to continue the main story. Wild screaming at Tone Tants isn't headline news. Could just be some screamo band set rehearsal. That or something a shade more sinister. Oh, Cyber Psycho. Where the bodies hit the floor. Is that a drowning pool reference? Quantity of blood indicates deep wounds, traces of alcohol present. Trauma team policy has expired. Oh man. protocol. Hey, that's great. Cool. Gain XP for the breach protocol skill. Ellis, what are we going to do, Brick? Got a bad feeling Royce Royce wants to F you in the A and he got, he's got people to back him. We got to do something. The F have you been? I'm 100% sure he's gunning for my reins. I've been a walking corpse since yesterday. My advice is to GTFO while you can. Ellis, you're rolling over? Dude, this is Brick and... Royce from the like one of the first quests we did. Interesting. Okay. Oh, are these all Maelstrom dudes? No, they aren't. Okay. Cool, man. Um, let's see. Boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, 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 boom. Can you use a silenced pistol in this game? Yes, you can. Wait, what is, uh... What are you talking about, Bella? Hey, guys, don't forget to use the reply function. It's super handy for streamers. Because <laughs> then I actually know what you guys are talking about. Oh, God. Did he kill all these people? Blood loss or multiple wounds. Evidence of drug use. Ugh. Empty inhaler with traces of RPM. Drug use for torturing. Not just Ellis Duarte. Oh god. Read the archive book from Sanders. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh yeah, the reply function isn't on mobile yet. They need to they need to fix that. It'd be great. 
Okay, Hoof and Sanders. Is it marked if it's quest? There's other. Oh, it's probably an archived conversation, isn't it? Um, maybe stuff is always at the bottom? New stuff? No. Ah. Oh, there's a new section at the very bottom? That's cool. Okay, great. Today's your day to clean up after Bricks B or else the boss man finds out we made a rabid dog out of the corpse he wanted. I swear to effing God, he makes more messes than he cleans up. Oh, if it's kind of like having his own trained cougar or some shit. Real, even howls and growls and shit. So much I can't sleep. What the hell you do that he screams so much? Just show him what happens when you stand up to Royce. It was Dor's idea to strip out his old chrome, plus we beat his face like it was an effing skeef filled pinata. Can't really talk no more. Just howls like the traitor B he is. Oh, dude. That means you gotta grab them off and clean up all the fleshy bits and blood he leaves lying around after dealing with our problem customers. Whoa. Damn, dude. Ugh. Did I do the Ozob quest? I don't think so. Some people have asked me about that, and I don't think I've done it yet. Send the information to Regina. Pull out my phone. Oh, there we go. A gang dispute. This guy was one of Brick's people. Tried to take a revenge out on Royce. You can guess how his solo attempt at a vendetta panned out. Got pumped full of drugs, tortured, and made into this wild attack dog of a bouncer. So I scrounged up some more info. It looks like the guy... Oh. Oh, it looks like the guy was Brick's only devotee left. All his other followers turned coat in half a millisec. I'm not sure how he can be saved, but maybe we'll at least learn something new about the onset of cyberpsychosis. Nice work. Right on. Crazy, man. Oof. Can we upgrade this shotgun at all? Co a big GTA 5 guy. I played through the main story and had a good time with it. But yeah. Uh let's see. What's this? Right next to it, whatever it is. What settings am I playing? Everything's maxed. Except uh no motion blur, no film grain. I saw your NPC in game was like, wait, I know you. V. Guy named Max Jones needs help. He might disagree, but if you don't get to this stubborn gonk first, he's as good as dead. Max is a media and a good friend of mine. Need you to bring him to me. If he puts up a fight, you're clear to use force. Like I said, he's stubborn. Deets attached. Sunny on games, for sure, dude. <sighs> you rise and fucked up, man. <laughs> Hmm. I use the front door when you can drop in the top. Credits. Archive World Service Note. Random news stuff. Okay. No BD. Oh, shoot. I messed that up. <laughs> Whoops. Okay.
PP Filbert. Hey, that's understandable, dude. These are the start. Let's see. One C. E D. One C. Damn. Um. We start with an E nine. E nine. E D. No one C. No one C on that row. This one sucks. Um. E D. Okay. I guess we do that one at least. That's right. They gave us no better. Enemies hack you too? Yeah. Even the big cats on the board showed up. They absolutely can. And they do. Already installed. What do I even do now? What? Oh god. By the way, C isn't crouch. In case you were wondering. It's control in this game. Just in case anyone was curious. What am I supposed to do against one of those? Because, like, I can't actually do anything about them. Um, I can't do... See his toggle crouch? Well, it didn't work. I hit C and it didn't work. See his toggle crouch? Why did, my, why did my crouch work? I hit C, but I just ran right into the mine. I, I think I can disable the mine, can't I? this again real quick. Uh-oh. There we go. That off. Maybe, oh, maybe that's going to turn everything off. That'd be good. Need to get good? I do. I do need to get good. Can I turn this off? Just a usual IED. Improvised explosive device. bit better that time. It'll be better. Can we pick this up after we disarm it? No. 
Then they packed up their cameras and forgot all about you. Yeah. Those implants, we had to get them back. Replaced them with these first gen people. Give back the implants. Everything from us tossed us like, like. It's okay. I understand. They gave him implants, showed the world that they were being generous to them, and then took them back. I can just remotely disarm them. That's cool. I don't even need to hack them. I guess we just have to get close enough to them. What's my biggest criticism of the game so far? Probably the obvious thing, the bugs. I, I would love to see more polish on the game. And, and I know it'll get it over time. Um, second criticism is definitely the crafting system. It, it unfortunately is rather invalidated the way that's currently set up, but that can be fixed in a patch. And um, third thing would probably be the lack of a system that chooses like what armor your character actually looks like. A lot of the game I've looked absolutely ridiculous chasing the best stats. So I think this game would be hugely beneficial with a system where it's like if you pick something up, you unlock that look and you can always assign that look to your body part. So I think having like not necessarily a transmog system, but just an easy way to pick what your character looks like. Um, and here's the thing. I used to say transmog, but I don't think transmog is really the answer because transmog usually means like transmogrifying an item's look to a different one and I'm not really looking for that I'm looking for something more similar to the Phoenix rising system where it's like I can assign away a slot looks but maybe this is transmog I've I mean back back in my day transmog meant that every time you got a new item you had to reapply the vanity thing um maybe that's not what it means today but is that not what it means today okay a skin slot next to it, basically. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so in Phoenix... Well, and even in Phoenix Rising, it, it doesn't really work that way. Basically, I want a, a cosmetic slot and an item slot. So you can just have a permanent look on an item and just continually upgrade this without ever having to worry about it changing how your, your character looks. Um, that's basically what I'm talking about. So, like, a little switch up here that you could just flick between cosmetic and stat or whatever you'd want to call it. Um, like Terraria system. Yeah, there you go. Terraria system. Yes, exactly. Terraria system is what I'm, is, is what I'm thinking of. Um, I think that'd be a huge benefit to this game, mainly because this game has some of the most extensive, like customization I've ever seen in a game with items. There are so many cool, interesting things you can put on your character's body. So having that ability to like choose your look. And even going as far, ready for this? What if there was a cosmetic thing and then there was a drop down in there for presets? So you could have like an agent preset, a, a clubbing preset, a street preset. So you could like drop down and have like different wardrobes for your character. So you could actually role play like, hey, I'm going to the club. Let me throw on my club clothes. Hey, I'm going to go meet with uh, a bunch of corpos. Let me throw on my street, my, my suit, you know, like outfits. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so cool, man. I would use that system in the ground, like just role playing it and shit. Um, that'd be so cool. Why? Because you can't see yourself. You can't see yourself in real life, but you wear clothes, don't you? You can't see yourself, but you put on all sorts of different shit, don't you? Yeah, you do. Oh, no, you don't. OK, fair. Well, yeah, I guess I don't really either. I'm not even wearing pants right now. But the point is, is that you see yourself sometimes, and there are a lot of reflections in the game. And you know, like it, I, I think it's still, like you get on motorcycle and stuff. I think it's pretty cool. Um, I, I, I would still use a system like that. And I think, again, a game like this that gives so much attention to the different things that you can put on and wear, um, it just, it, it begs for a system like that. Um, where you can just pick and choose what you look like without having to worry, is this the best stats for that slot? Um, yeah. Anyway, those are my three biggest things. That's those. The, and here's the thing: everything I just mentioned could be patched in. I really hope it is. I'm. I'm maybe it could be modded in. You a corporal? Tell me, or I shoot. No, not a fucking suit. 
Name's V. Regina sent me. Regina. <laughs> Tell her she can get fucked. Oh.